Morning. I'm here at Carsonton Reservoir in Derbyshire, in the Peak District. And I've come here to do the shoot for Anna Roo. The reservoir behind me um, was opened up in 1992 by Queen Elizabeth II. And the dam over there is about just shy of 1,300 metres long. And it came to fame in 1984 when they were building it, it collapsed. And it was one of the UK's most notorious, um, or should I say, famous, well known um, civil engineering products that went slightly wrong. But I've come here because I want to do a little bit of a comparison to Anaru's Lake Wakatipu in New Zealand. So this is my shoot for Anaru. The, lake, the reservoir behind me is probably about 100 feet in depth. And, and the, the hills around me, probably only just a couple of hundred feet. But in New Zealand, where Anaru comes from, Lake Waikatipu, where Queenstown sits on the shoreline, that lake has got oof, well over a thousand odd feet deep. And the southern Alps that surround it, well, they're thousands of feet. So it's, I suppose, Carsten here is like a little mini version of Lake Wakatitu, Wakapitu even. But on the lake here, you can do sailing, you can do windsurfing, you can do all sorts, just like uh, Anaru uh, can do on Lake Wakatipu in Queenstown, New Zealand. There they do windsurfing, they do paragliding, they do parasailing. Uh, they do jet skiing, they do a whole host of things because Queenstown is a very sporty town and in winter it gets all the, uh, the skiers going there to ski the Southern Alps. It's a fantastic place and when you, when you go to Queenstown where Anaru comes from, the sky gondola that I mentioned, the restaurant at the top, you go up by cable car and there you can see all across the um, Lake Wakatipu, uh, these some of the Southern Alps, but it is a you know it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic place to go to, kids. You can do bungee jumping off the top there by the restaurant there, and you can it's even a luge. And believe you me, when you look at it and you look down the steep side, you're thinking these kids are crazy doing this. But let me tell you about Anaru. Anaru is my little boy who I uh, give leukemia to. And he was nine when he was, when he contracted the leukemia. And the story is telling you about how he battled his, um, his illness over the three years. I briefly touch on that. And I put this story in because I want kids to understand that, yes, some kids get ill, but you can overcome your illness and you can then go on to lead your lives, fulfill your dreams and your aspirations. And that is what Anaru is doing. So the story is the day he gets his letter of all clear from Dr. Smith from Southlands Hospital in Invincahill down on the southern tip of South Island in New Zealand. And he's telling you the day all about his celebration because it's a huge celebration and a lot of kids who um, recover from a, a cancer over here in the UK we call it we ring the bell so this is like Anna Roo's ringing the bell it's his day of celebration and he takes you onto the lake onto the uh, parasailing he does with his friend Pete and he's talking to you about how now he can follow his dream and his dream is to be a fly half for New Zealand's All Blacks, the famous rugby union team, the number one team around the world. He is also giving kids the aspiration 
to follow their dreams, even when they've had a significant illness. It's a fun storyline in a way, it's action packed, but it has a serious side to it as well. But the message Anaru is telling you all is that you can overcome an illness, you can follow your dreams, and you can fulfill your life. That's what he's talking about. And that is my story of my little rugby boy, because he's passionate about rugby. It courses through his veins. He loves it. But whilst he was ill with the leukemia, he couldn't play it. But now he's got his letter all clear, he can now play it and live out his dream. Kids, you can live out your dreams. That's his message to you. Even though you've had an illness, you've conquered it, you've fought it, you've battled it, you've won the battle, go and follow your dreams, just like Anna is doing. Next week, well, I'm going to take you to Peru, and it's here that we meet Dantel. Dantel is my uh, little boy who is going to talk to you about earthquakes, because Peru gets earthquakes. So let's see what he's got to say with himself and his brother Emilio. But for me, bye for now. See you next week in Arequipa in Peru.